also, we have a game called Hollywood Director, so for this we take you straight to the movies. Can I have a, ooh, ooh, okay, lovely. Uh, right, so for this one, uh, Eddie, you're going to be the director. Amy, Chris, and Natalie, you're going to be actors, extras, or props, whatever he wants to do with you. Um, but we need a movie title from you, please, we want um, a brand new, unseen movie. Dad's army, poo. <laughs> Watch the trailer for that. That's <laughs> more to say. No, no, we're not going to do that. Uh, right. Okay, Dad's Army 2 it is next. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. I know it's not been released yet, but we're certain that Dad's Army, the movie, is going to be of such a high quality that we started making these sequels straight away. Sadly, none of the original cast or cast of the previous film. <laughs> Third cast to play Dad's Army, that's what you guys are. Right, so. What is this one about? Well, I'll tell you. Do you know what? You've defected. You are now one of the house guards. <laughs> you're now convert you're now defected to Germany, okay? So what you're doing is you're making Wilmington on Sea a little bit of the Third Reich right on the south coast of England. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay? Yes. You're delighted. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got Wilson and Pike. <laughs> and you're bringing them in on this. You're just slipping in little mentions, uh, little uh, little dropping little hints, okay, initially. Okay, so uh, we'll just have that. So, meeting, you've been, uh, you know, whatever happens at the end of the first one, couldn't care less. <laughs> <laughs> You're discussing the potential uh, uh, events of that uh, film, and then you just keep on dropping a little slight suggestions that maybe Mornington on Sea Home Guard should defect. Mm. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Action! Now, uh, now, what's up, man? Uh, Wilson, Mike. Uh, I've, uh, I've uh, got to do some directions uh, for today. Now, we're going to uh, drill the train, but uh, first, I'd, uh, I'd like to just uh, have a look at the, the British flag. Uh, <laughs> thinking, you uh, I think I've got you here, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, any, any suggestions for some improvements, uh, perhaps, to the uh, British flag there? Perhaps a, a circle design? Maybe <laughs> that's a kind of design, maybe a circle. Oh, no, my mum says if I ever touch a British flag, she'll send me straight up to bed, so Mr. Mayor, and say, oh, I need a scarf. You're a stupid boy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, do you think it's just the flag? I think you got a circle, white circle, maybe, with the red. Well, I, I red think we should just around, around the wrap. Wrap, wrap, like that. Yes, Wilson, that's good, Wilson. I like that. I like that. <laughs> just, uh, and then, and then color that bit in red with the red paint. That'd be good. That's it, around the white circle. It's looking then. awfully familiar. No, 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 yeah, that, that looks uh, that looks sporting. Yes. Should we uh, should we uh, take a load of them and get them on the box, men? Yes. I don't think Mama yeah. would like us, Mr. Mannering. Right. Why not? Because. <laughs> 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 now you see there, we planted the seed. Pike is the real star of this. You've got drunk with power off of working in a bank and being the leader of the Home Guard. Okay. That's why you think, oh, power. Who else likes power? Their Fuhrer. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get you back in the end, though. So, Mike, <laughs> you decide to go to the pub because you've just turned 18 and you're very excited about it. So, you go in there, you meet uh, the local barmaid and uh, a local drunk. <laughs> and, uh, and you sit there and you're talking about it. You're concerned because you admire and respect Captain Mannering. Who doesn't? <laughs> so, <laughs> but you're unsure about the direction he's taking the flag and the home guard, so uh, you have yourself uh, half a mile and uh, mull on about it a little bit and decide to sleep on it. So let, let's see that action, please. Would you like anything to drink? Well, my mum says I could have a half a shandy mild. <laughs> Alright then. Get a boy to drink. Hey, drink some of me. Get everything you want. Anything um, you want. Thank you all. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Daddy. I'll slip it in the sun. There you are. I'm a bit concerned actually about what's happening in Warmington and seeing that, and where's my scarf and that. Would you like some yes. peanuts? <coughs> no, I can't touch nuts, my mum says. <laughs> she says I might become a homosexual if I touch anything that related. <laughs> I'm a bit worried about Miss Memory, see? Who's that? 
that day. He's the leader of the hangar. I said he wants to call it Das House God. Don't do that here. Right, Minnie. That's the way Miss Mary said he wanted us to salute as well. And thinking about it, oh. I love Thorin! Thorin's not right! Sorry, I love Thorin! I don't know what to do, I think that something's going on. Would you like some pool scratchings? <laughs> Cut! <laughs> I like it. So, Pike, you've uncovered the secret. Everyone's already turned into a Nazi before he's been seen. <laughs> Now, uh, you go and talk to the only two who haven't been affected by this. Godfrey and Fraser. They're, they're far too old to have it happen to them. So, you, uh, you go over to them and you, uh, you uh, warn them about it, and they say that they've noticed something in a big barn on the hill. People have been going in and out at strange times of night, and that you're unsure about it, but it might have something to do with the fact that everyone in Warmington sees is turning into a ruddy Nazi. Action! Yeah, bike club! I see, I see. There's somebody in the barn on the hill. I'm on the barn, I hear I think there's something going on, sir. Everyone's doing strange salutes and wearing Lederhosen. <laughs> <laughs> my mum says if I get my knees out, then I might get flu, so I can't wear Lederhosen. <laughs> that's right, that's right. I think I should go look in the barn, bike club. <laughs> I don't know, we just heard some strange sounds coming from the other right? way. <laughs> uh, Ooh, but this shall we go together? Us. No, you just go back. Go back. Yeah, go. We're the to the spot, that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I might never come back from this, but tell my mother I, I never did once turn my underwear inside out. I wore a fresh pair every day. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Jonesy. Uh. Yeah, I haven't forgotten him. Come on. <laughs> you meet Jonesy on the way. Jonesy, he's got a nose for these things. Because, and you'll never guess this, he was in the First World War. Never mentions it. <laughs> <laughs> you go up the hill to the barn to investigate when you find who? Who's inside it? Oh, cripes, it's Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Nazi generator. <laughs> you find a way to destroy. I'll let you get on with how you, uh, how you do that. But you take down Hitler finally, and uh, then all of a sudden, all the other characters rush on the stage, uh, rush on the set, <laughs> and, uh, and tell you, uh, or how grateful they are that they're no longer Nazis. And uh, all that business is going to be great. With lots of arrows, and you'll have to have them. We've got them all afterwards. It's interesting, but I'll show you later. So, uh, okay, excellent. So, uh, Oh, Pikey, there you are, that's Pikey. Oh, I'll be waiting for you up here, Pikey, lad. Oh, Jonesy. Yeah, oh, uh, are we going in the barn together then? This is just like when I was attacked by the World War I. Oh, it was. Oh, oh, they don't like it up. Oh, they do not like it up. Mum says no one likes it up. No one likes it up anymore, <laughs> Pikey. That's the trouble with this country. No one likes it up anymore, Pikey. Okay, I'm going to try kicking the door. Okay, Pikey. There we go. I'll come here, Pikey. Don't worry. He won't go. Oh, give it a big boot, no, Pikey. Just open. Oh, it's open. Oh, it's open. Oh, it's open. <laughs> Bloody hell, it's Hitler. No! He doesn't like it up him. No. Oh, well. You won't get it up past him like that anyway, sir. Oh. Grab it, Pikey. Hiya, Hitler. Oh. I can't grab him. He's in front of an um, massive Nazi generator. Now oh. I understand. He sucks out your thoughts and replaces them with Nazi thoughts. Maybe if we destroy the Nazi thought machine. You'll wait yeah. a minute. Oh. I get the generator and I stick it to your head. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. This is unfortunate, Parky! I've got a picture of the Queen Mum, I'll just show it to the generator. I'll bet that'll stop it! Don't do it! Queen Mum! Here you go, Parky! It's working, It's working! 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 It's
Oh, no, you are not get sued, man. The pub broke you. There you go. <laughs> oh, look, all the other, all our friends are coming up to Sarah. Oh, well done, back it up. I'm going to make a very good job, back. Yes, I'm going to make a very good job. Oh, the others are coming here as well. Who will kill you, baby? <laughs>